I think that many of you, at some point, already received in your schema stored on MySQL database, a message like tables could not be fetched or views could not be fetched, and so on. Why this occur? Have this a solution? It's what we are going to see in this video. Let's see if I can replicate the message. For that, I open the MySQL workbench, and, as you can see, I have a schema named Spatial Test. This schema has tables and views, and everything it's working correctly. As example, I'm going to select the table with the name test underscore keys and next, I will delete it from my schema. After, I refresh the database, and the message has appeared. As you can see, there is the tables could not be fetched or views could not be fetched. So, it is possible to replicate the issue, but the question is this, the message does not appear every time I drop a table from my schema, but why did it appear now? Let's see why this happened in the next step. Trying to find out the source of the issue that have as a result the message, tables could not be fetched, I select the schema and I click on the info icon. This opens a window where the user can consult all the information about the schema. What I have to do now is to click on the various tabs to see if I can find the source of the problem. When I click on the first tab, Name Tables, the view with the name Test1, appears flagged as having an error. If I select it and click Inspect Table, I can check the source of the error. I get the information that the view cannot invoke the data because there is an invalid reference relative to the table or columns. And why? Because I deleted the table where this view was linked. When I deleted the table, the view that resulted from it, started to give an error, and as a result, the message tables could not be fetched began to appear. Is there a solution for the issue? Yes. Let's see how to do this in the next step. Once the issue is identified, the resolution of it is quite simple. All I must do is select the view flagged with the error icon and delete it from my schema. Now, if I refresh the database, you can verify that the message, tables could not be fetched, disappeared. The problem presented in this exercise is easy to identify and solve, however, the message may appear due to more complex problems. But what matters to be taken, is that in most of the cases, this message appears due to an error generated by the user himself. <laughs> 